Hi mga Habibi, it's Dale and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to talk about how I got my different scholarships in UST and hopefully inspire and motivate you to apply for one too. Because having a scholarship really does help you and your parents to reduce the tuition, the expenses, and save you up for the future as well. Before we start this video nga pala, sabihin ko lang na yun na ako scholarships from USD. One was when I was in senior high school and the other one is now when I'm in college. So pag-uusapan natin sila both. But before we do that, clarify ko lang yung apat na scholarships meron sa USD. Yung unang scholarship, which is the one I had in senior high school, is the Santo Tomas Academic Scholarship. This scholarship is given to those who are academically outstanding. Well, these are given to the top 1 and top 2 of their batch in junior high and senior high school. And then specific cum laude standings naman sa college. It depends on the degree program you're applying for. The next type of scholarship naman is the San Lorenzo Ruiz. Yun yung binibigay na financial assistance sa mga students na willing mag-render ng assistantship hours sa university like you'll be given free tuition and a stipend monthly if you're going to exchange it for a certain amount of work hours, community work hours in the university. The next is the Santo Domingo Scholarship which is given to students who excel in the sports, in arts, in music. So they're using their talents to gain that scholarship. And last but not the least is my scholarship in college, the San Martin de Porres Scholarship. So it's divided into two, the internal and external scholarship. I'm under the external because yung scholarship ko galing sa DOST, which is outside the university. So we'll explain that further on later. So simulan ko na lang muna yung kwento ko kung paano ko nakuha yung scholarship ko sa senior high. Ngayon, before going into UST, I studied here in the province and I became top one with my best friend. And then, nung nag-apply ako sa UST, nabanggit lang ng tita ko na pwede pala mag-apply ng scholarship kung may ganun kang standing. So ayun, I applied for it and I had to take another exam which is like an OSTET level 2 and kapag nakapasa ko dun, and then you're applicable for the scholarship. So ayun, I got the scholarship and I got to enjoy its perks for 3 terms until my last kasi minaksak ako ng prof ko sa isang quarter. So ayun, um, the perks of that scholarship is wala talaga akong babayaran na fees, na tuition, na miscellaneous fees for those three terms. So in exchange for that scholarship, ang ni-require lang naman sa amin is mag-render lang kami ng konting tulong sa senior high office. So ayun, nagawa ko naman yan for a short amount of time before I graduated. And ala, ano, it pays it paid off naman. It's worth it. It's worth giving the scholarship. Like to imagine kung magkano yung tuition namin sa senior high, 50 plus kada sem. So I saved up to 150 plus in tuition alone. Moving on naman to my DOSC scholarship. So yung DOSC scholarship, it's from the Department of Science and Technology, Science and Education Institute. So it's DOSC SEI. This scholarship is awarded to those who plan to take up science programs in their undergraduate studies. So yun yung mga BS Pharmacy, Chemical Engineering, BS Psychology. But kailangan mo lang talaga manotice kung ano yung mga applicable kasi hindi lahat ng science programs as of now recognized ng DOST like yung BS Physical Therapy hindi pa siya recognized yung BS Architecture but specific programs like Geodetic Engineering nakita ko recognized naman siya so that's what you have to look out for when applying for that scholarship and the second factor is kailangan center of excellence yung pag applyan mong program so that's another factor you have to look into when picking a program for you with that scholarship. The benefits I got from that scholarship are, syempre, yung mismong bawa sa tuition worth 40,000, book allowance worth 10,000, uniform allowance, um, actually, alam ko may accident and health insurance pa yun, and then, meron ka pang, ano, monthly stipend worth 7,000, and then, meron ka pang, ano, reimbursable na ano, travel expenses. Like sila yung sasagot ng isang round trip mo kung malayo ka. Para yun sa mga ano, taga malayong lugar. So sila yung mga kasulit dun. Ako hindi ko na nireimburse kasi medyo malapit naman na yung probinsya ko. Nga pala, I had to take another scholarship exam for the DOSD scholarship too. So yung coverage ng exam, it's more on mental ability. Like meron dong isang tanong, like legit na question to ah. Parang what instrument do you use to nail down? 
yun, Anil. In exchange for that scholarship naman, kung gano'n mo katagal in-enjoy yung benefits, like, di ba for every school year is ten, around 10 months, and then times for edi 40 months. Ganon din katagal yung return of service agreement mo. Which basically means, kailangan mong i-pursue yung career na yun sa bansa natin for that specific amount of time too. So, kung wala kang balak naman umalis ng bansa, and then kaya mo din naman mentally, and kaya mo talamang kuha yung scholarship na yun, so take it. I encourage you to do so. You don't need to be smart to take up that scholarship. You just need to be hardworking naman din talaga. Like, hindi naman ganong kataas yung yung requirement like hindi hindi ka naman talaga sobrang ma-intimidate you just need to have the guts to apply for it and i highly encourage you to do so wala namang mawawala sa iyo so that's it guys comment down below kung meron kayong gustong ibigay na advice sa aspiring scholars and kung meron man kayong video suggestions para sa akin please feel free to do so ala lang yun lang naman don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time bye